Alright, so this um, particular video is basically to show how to fill out the uh, work order. Um, this one is already filled out, we're just going to go through a few things on how it's done. Um, pretty simple, um, our logo is here. Over here is a bunch of uh, things that we need to know about. It has the invoice date, so it would be the date of the job, and it has an invoice number. All right now this invoice number you would um, put uh, when you're saving the uh, paperwork, you would save uh, as uh, the invoice number, hyphen, the customer's last name, and then complete. Alright, so um, at the top of this right here, it's, if you could see it now, uh, right here you can see where um, it has the invoice number, customer's last name, and, and complete. Alright, that's how you would save it. Um, for uh, when you uh, when you scan that in, uh, and then these work orders also have to be in PDF format, just like this. Um, all right, job address is always on this side. All right, uh, there's a few times when the job address is on this side um, when we have like a, uh, a move job. So if you're moving the machine at the original address, it would be here. And then the new address would be on this side. But generally speaking, um, the address that you need to go to would be on this side. If it's a move job, then keep that in mind. Um, this is uh, non warranty because it says zero here. If it was a warranty, it would have like a, a warranty number here. So that's what that's for. Um, this is the uh, technician name. So right under here is where the technician names go. Uh, the appointment date would be here, uh, so the day when the job is for, and then the appointment time, the time when the job is for. It's usually two hours. This one is uh, between 11 and 1. Um, and then you have the, the machine, so it's the make, and then the model, and the serial number. Um, basically, once you go in, you ask the customer to explain what the problem is. Even though it says noise here, it might be something more than that or different than that. So you ask the customer uh, to tell you what's going on with the machine. Um, and then you would write, if you notice there's two things here, there's problem found and then there's solution. Uh, because we need um, both information. So we need to know what you find when you get there. And then we also need to know, okay, what did you do to fix it, which is separate than this. So what did you do to fix it, or if it was not fixed, what parts were needed. So solution or parts needed. Either one would go on this line here. Sometimes people write down here because it's a lot more space. And then you check these boxes. Was the incline okay when you went there? If it has incline, you would check that. Was the tread worn? If it's a treadmill, uh, was the dry belt okay? Yes or no? Um, was there noise issues? Um, if you check this that there is no noise, and then the customer calls back and said, "Hey, the guy left. Uh, there's a lot of a whole lot of noise." you can back up yourself because the customer actually has to sign down here. So this is the customer's signature. So once you fill this out, the customer signs it. Uh, he's basically signing off on what you check off here. And also that's to cover yourself because if it's a recall, um, then you have to go back and take a look at stuff that um, that you didn't need to. All right, And it's a checklist, you know, so that you can check everything. So you need to check the belt, you need to check for noise, you need to check uh, a bunch of these little things just before you leave. Um, now, you, was the unit fixed? Meaning, are we going back for parts or anything? No? Okay, then uh, unit is fixed. And was there parts needed? Yes or no? Uh, meaning that parts needed mean that are we going back because parts are needed? Um, and if there's uh, no parts needed, then you would say check no. If parts are needed to go back, you said check yes. And then return needed. Uh, now these look seem like the same, but they are not. Both of these need to be checked off. So return needed, or we going back? Customer might want to buy the parts, but doesn't want us to come back. He wants to put it in himself. So both of these need to be checked. Um, uh, so return needed, um, or we going back to install those parts? All right. And uh, down here it says um, this is directly uh, what the service request is or the product that we put on there um, and then invoice is either going to say prepaid or billed or something down here that's what that's for that's 
that's something that you uh, would worry about. The only thing is the customer can came out and gave you a credit card and said, hey, uh, or want to find out whether or not it's paid, a lot of times you can look down here and know what to tell a customer. And then, of course, you would get a signature. And uh, once you get a signature and a date, customer should usually sign this. Um, then have them print their name. Especially, um, so for example, um, print name is very important for one reason. Let, let's say Amand, um, which is a customer here in this case, um, is not home and his wife is home. So she signs this right here, right? We would want her to print her name so that we know that, okay, what this is right here, the signature. Print her name and the date. So we should try to get um, people to start printing their names, just generally speaking. Uh, and then you know we'll find ourselves you know having more signatures with uh, print names. All right, and that's how you fill out a uh, work order for Tech Motion.